So hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do one frame glitches in Premiere Pro. Before we do start, you will need to download these plugins which are on the screen right now. But if you have them, then let's start. So first of all, you want to have your two clips ready and what you want to do is add an adjustment layer on top, trim it to one frame, duplicate the adjustment layer about five times. But if you want to, you can reduce it to around three. I'm also going to shift it all the way to the end, just like that. So we have two frames for the first clip and then three for the second. For the first effect, what we are going to do is such a BCC damage TV. It should be this one right here and just drag it onto the adjustment layer. For the second one, it's going to be Uni VHS. Once again, drag and drop. However, we are going to modify this effect. So head over to the effect controls and then head over here where it says tape damage. Where it says tape noise type, you want to head over there and click it and then click on very bad tracking. This is optional, but if you want to, you can also change the blend with original to around 25 to 50. I'm going to put it at 25. Anyways, for the next one, we are going to add invert and then change the channel to hls or if you want to you can change it to anything you like it depends on your clips we are also going to add some scan lines this one right here just drag and drop change the lines frequency to 75 and then the line sharpness to around 0.5 but if you do want them to seem more visible you can change it to 50 and then the bottom one to 0.25 or you can just leave it as it was to 0.5 now for the next one we are going to add invert once again however we are going to leave it as it is and instead what we are going to do is look at the actual clip and just trim it to around one frame the clip has to be the one exactly below the adjustment layer and we are going to add bcc displacement map drag it onto the actual clip not the adjustment layer and this is where you can kind of mess around with the settings depending on what you like but these are my settings and uh, i kind of wanted to go for a weird glitchy look completely distorted it really does not look right but that's the point of it but anyways moving on to the final adjustment layer we are going to add the vhs effect again so just drag and drop and then we are going to change the settings so head back into tape damage and then tape noise type but this time change it to something else like vertical slip 2 or color noise i think color noise looks okay but if you don't like it then you can add other effects you can add something like jpeg damage change the quality to something like 0.05 if you don't like that then you can add something else such as mosaic which i think i said right change the pixel frequency to around 125 or even 150 and it kind of gives this like pixel look but if you don't like that one you can also add something else called pixel sort drag and drop and you can also change what angle it's at so if i change it to 90 it changes you can change the threshold to around 0.1 and it gives off this extremely like glitchy effect which i really do like so you can use this as well if you want to and it will look something like this but anyways, thank you for watching, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. So yeah, peace.